the first time I, I you know, I, um, I worked with him, it was a million dollar baby. I auditioned for it, and I was so excited. I'm like, I can't believe I'm doing it, because it's one of my dad's favorite actors. I was like, I can't believe I'm working with him. I can't believe I'm working with him, and I work with him. I said, wow, this is really cool, but I was too naive. You know, I was, I was just starting out. Um, well, I mean, I was eight years into it, but still felt like I was starting out. And then 15 years later, uh, you know, I'm working with him, and now because I know how hard it is to make a good movie, he's more of a legend now to me than he ever was before because, you know, he just keeps doing it time and time again. Well, it's more than just um, like this one about the cartels or whatever. It's um, at the end of the day, it's about family, and, and don't know what I'm saying as soon as you guys watch it all the way through. Like towards the end, you start to reflect a little bit, and it's a good feeling. I play Ginny, who is Earl Stone's granddaughter, who Earl is played by Clint Eastwood. And Ginny is, um, she's a very driven young woman who's got a big heart and she's very compassionate and she's got a lot of compassion towards her grandpa Earl, who she's probably the only one in her immediate family that actually considers his feelings. Clint works with um, so many of the crew members that he's worked with for years and years and years and years, so there's already a sense of family. So as well as working with his daughter, coming in and having to play a family, it didn't really require much from me. I didn't, I didn't feel like, it's not like, you know, sometimes you go into someone's home and you feel like a stranger. In this case, it was so warm and welcoming, welcoming, excuse me, that it just sort of, it just sort of contributed to the movie, the fact that they already had that history, that family bond. Well, I play Iris. I play his daughter, and I'm obviously being his real-life daughter, it's not a huge stretch. Um, but it was difficult um, because when I read the script, I, I was, you know, it was really tough to think, "Wow, I've got to create a character that really, you know, hates her dad and, and is very resentful towards her father and doesn't speak to him and and won't forgive him." And that's not our relationship at all. If anything, it's the opposite at this point. You've got this story about, you know, someone who's, you know, a good person who's making very bad choices, obviously, out of desperation. But then there's a sort of a, you know, a, a forgiveness factor to the family and a resolve and a feeling of, you know, maybe he finally came around, he showed up at the right time, and maybe he did make some good choices. So it's a, it's a lot. There's a lot of drama. There's a lot of humor in it. And, uh, you know, I think it's in an age where all the movies we see are superhero movies and not real human beings. It's a real character piece, and it's based on a true story. So I think there's something lovely about it.